The Bitcoin miners capitulating are we in the midst of one of the best buying opportunities as indicated by the hash ribbons. Let's have a little investigation here as today we have this major tweet posted by Charles Edwards, the actual creator of hash ribbons. I'm going to read this for you. Very interesting stuff. This is by far the most brutal Bitcoin miner capitulation since 2016 and possibly ever he tweeted out earlier this morning. These hash ribbons have been used to indicate the bottom of bear markets and minor capitulation one of the crypto bingo calls for 2023 is playing out in front of our eyes right about now so he says this hash ribbons capitulation has captured the lowest bitcoin hash rate reading of 2022 as miners go bankrupt and default under the great pressure of squeezed margins globally so from this chart he posted earlier you can see this massive wick down here and a big drop off in the hash rate for btc now these two lines, I'll just blow this up for you, show the hash rate of Bitcoin, the 30 day moving average and the 60 day moving average. So when we get these capitulation events here signified by the green dot, this is when the 30 day goes below the 60 day i.e. the hash rate drops off at a very substantial rate. And then once this happens for a while, we get out of this the other end with a kind of golden cross where the 30 day moves back above the 60 day and you get a buy signal. And minor capitulations are seen as one of the best buying opportunities as it is the epitome of forced sellers. So this is actually Charles Edwards's own indicator. And he's telling us here, this is one of the worst corrections in hash rate that he's ever seen. And so kind of be aware on red alert here that we may get a real capitulation event where miners just dump all inventory, go bankrupt, and we get some form of cascading liquidations. So let's have a little look at a few more data points here. This being the top 10 public miners with the highest amount of liabilities on their balance sheet. As you can see from some of the names here, they've been in the news very recently. The likes of Core Scientific, Greenage, Argo as well. We'll highlight these in just a second. $1.3 billion in liability for Core Scientific. Not very good indeed. And if we scroll down to this as well, you can see the ratio between their debt to equity. So what this is telling us is that a load of these miners are having to capitulate, sell out their inventory, maybe sell 100% of everything they're mining currently because they got too leveraged during the bull market, maybe over invested in equipment. And now with rising energy costs and the lower Bitcoin price, they're in a very sticky situation. So over the last week or so, we've seen these headlines, giant Bitcoin miner, core scientific files for bankruptcy. We then had this on the 20th of December, Bitcoin miner Greenage reaches a debt restructuring deal with NIDIG as bankruptcy looms. These guys are based in New York out of an old natural gas facility and apparently have been burning through roughly $8 million per month. Not very profitable indeed. And then we have this on the other side of the pond here in the UK, Bitcoin miner Argo blockchain suspends trading on the NASDAQ. It is continuing to trade on the London Stock Exchange right now, but they're stating that tomorrow on Wednesday, there is a big announcement coming from them. The rumor mill seems to be saying either chapter 11 bankruptcy or a deal for some restructuring of their debt. In terms of Bitcoin mining stocks, those kind of proxy bets here, year to date, you can see over $30 was the stock price of Marathon Digital. They're down to around three bucks right about now. And the same for Hut 8 here as well over 10 bucks this time last year, now down to around $1 only. If you're wondering if the equipment is faring any better, not a chance. Bitcoin ASIC miner prices hovering at lows not seen in years, down 80% from their peak in 2021. And this is the Bitcoin miner net position, i.e. is this positive in the green or negative in the red? Are they actually accumulating more Bitcoins or are they selling them off wholesale? And as you can see from the red here, they have been selling them off rather consistently and aggressively. So that is the current signal in the market right now. And this is the reason why Charles Edwards is stating that this is one of the worst capitulations on record because there's many factors here all showing, you know, pretty much miners are screwed at this point. In my opinion, what should be happening here is the survival of the fittest. Those who are not profitable should be falling by the wayside, going bankrupt and allowing for others who are more profitable to increase their market share. I know that's not great for decentralization, but you shouldn't keep propping up unprofitable businesses. And when you see headlines like Core Scientific getting another interim loan for $37 million, maybe we're just going to keep exacerbating the point here and just stretch out this minor capitulation period for longer until nature can fully take its own course and wipe out these unprofitable entities. So over on CoinMores, you can see the current Bitcoin hash rate here. 
And this was the day before Christmas Eve, the 23rd of December, 271 equihashes of hash rate. And then this happened over the 24th Christmas Eve into Christmas Day here. The hash rate fell down to 170 equihashes. This was a huge drop off in hash rate and a reason why I believe Charles has fired off this tweet. Somewhere in the region of like 35, 36, 37% drop in pretty much a 24 hour period. So what was the reason for this? Did a load of miners capitulate in one go? What is the story? So digging into this year, apparently there was some horrendously bad Arctic weather across the US, specifically hitting Texas very hard. And that is one of the areas where a load of miners have now migrated towards. There was the whole movement from China over to Texas in 2021. And it now seems that this big freeze that hit saw a load of miners shutting down. So as this headline states, the Bitcoin network hash rate has returned subsequent to this back up to 240 equi hashes. So a temporary 38% fall over a very short duration of time there. So the story is that these bone chilling temperatures sweeping across the US leads to millions without power. Texas was heavily hit here. And apparently Bitcoin miners in Texas decided they would all shut down their mining operations temporarily to ensure that residents in the area could have power. So this rather large wick on those hash ribbons maybe isn't as bad a signal as many are actually freaking out about right about now. So over on TradingView, if you type in hash ribbons under the indicators and the Capriol Investments one, this is what you're gonna get and you can follow along with the hash ribbons yourself. Now a useful bit of information here, the average time from capitulation to the buy signal actually coming up is roughly 48 days. So that is the average. This happened around here, the 26th of November. So if we just go out 48 days from then, that puts us at Friday, the 13th of January. So the second week of January. So maybe we'll catch up on this and see where we are just about then. But typically these hash ribbons do identify very good times to actually accumulate Bitcoin. There's been 13 of these capitulation events and there has only been one time when the buy signal has flashed and subsequently Bitcoin's price has gone low. Lower. So typically it does either mark a bottom or very close to a bottom of a market cycle. So with miners selling off their inventory, restructuring their finance in terms, and even getting their creditors to stump up more cash, the Bitcoin mining industry is in disarray at this moment in time. And as you can see, we're in this midst of the capitulation events. A bottom has not yet formed. We have not had some final capitulation here with cascading liquidations as a result of miners bailing out. And so I think this is a very noteworthy story to keep up to date with. I plan on doing an update here on the 13th of January to see if we do get that buy signal around that average time and to check back in once again to see where we are with these miners the stocks, the hash rate, and of course, the Bitcoin price along with it. So if you want to join me for that one, so I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you're having a great Christmas. Goodbye.